Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Serena Killam. Um, so in this video, I'm exploring different ways to use Scrivener for writing your thesis. So one really great thing that uh, I love about Scrivener is this ability to have notes over here, um, which don't form the primary part of your thesis. Um, Often when you're writing a thesis, you need to kind of have two streams of thought going at the same time. One is like the main content of your thesis. And then the other one might be like memos to yourself or notes of what you want to write on there or conversations um, from uh, conversations with your supervisor. So that's what I really like this notes section for. So let's say if we were down here, this is my main concept. I'm, I've dragged and dropped this around, so let's call this main concept one, and we're going to rename this. We're going to totally rename this section two, and we're going to call this sub concept one. And I want to go in here and I want to write some notes. So, notes to self could be a memo, notes from supervisor. Excuse my poor typing here. Notes from academic writing advice. Remember to read blog on this section. So this can be as this. Uh, so this middle section would like be the main text of your thesis, whereas these notes to self. Um, this is not what would turn up in your final thesis, but it allows you to stay on track as you are writing. Now up here, the synopsis, you can auto generate this synopsis into here, or you can just write it directly in. So in this section, I am going to examine X, Y, Z. Um, the synopsis, section is really great because even if you haven't written the text in this main body here, so let's say if I got rid of all this text, um, you are able to still export that synopsis section um, and it gives you a structure and an outline that you are able to share with your supervisors. So for example, if you were putting together the bare bones of this chapter, but you didn't really have um, the details ready to share yet from your draft, but you were able to write a synopsis on how all the different concepts was in that chapter would hang together. You could write that over here on the synopsis card, and then it gives you something to take to supervision to share with your supervisors or to print out for yourself and to check, well, actually, do these sections fit together? Do they flow? Am I covering all the bits that I want to cover before you get into the heavy work of writing the text? Um, so there are two great hints on how you can use the notes and how you can use the synopsis section to keep track of what you're doing.